God is love, and he that bideth in love abideth in God, and God in him. The Lord is in his holy temple, let all the earth keep silence before him. Good morning and welcome. It's good to have you here. It's nice to be here. We're filming this on a lovely, warm, sunny day, and I hope you're watching it on a lovely, warm, sunny day. Uh, our service this morning of morning prayer from the Book of Common Prayer, we'll be using the collects for the fourth Sunday after Trinity on page 223. So if you have a book with you and you want to follow along, you might put a thumb in page 223, because that's where we'll find the readings and so on. It's very good to have you with us. I want to thank Sheila for coming along for these and uh, doing a big part of them, and to Paul for making it all look good. And just to let people know that we're hoping, if everything goes the way it appears to be, to be back live in church on Sunday mornings at 8.30 for our Book of Common Prayer Eucharist. But that will depend on some things that are, we're hoping will happen, but we don't know yet. Our service continues on page 4. Dearly beloved, Scripture moveth us in sundry places to acknowledge and confess our manifold sins and wickedness and that we should not dissemble nor cloak them before the face of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, but confess them with an humble, lowly, penitent, and obedient heart, to the end that we may obtain forgiveness of the same by His infinite goodness and mercy. And although we ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before God, yet we ought most chiefly so to do, when we assemble and meet together to render thanks for the great benefits that we have received at his hands, to set forth his most worthy praise, to hear his most holy word, and to ask those things which are requisite and necessary, as well for the body as the soul. Wherefore, I pray and beseech you, as many as are here present, to accompany me with a pure heart and humble voice under the throne of the heavenly grace. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no help in us. But thou, O oh Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults. Restore thou them that are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind, in Christ Jesus you our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who desireth not the death of a sinner, but rather that he may turn from his wickedness and live, hath given power and commandment to his ministers to declare and pronounce to his people being penitent the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardoneth and absolveth all them that truly repent and unfeignedly believe his holy gospel. Wherefore, we beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that those things may please him which we do at this present, and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure and holy, so that at the last we may come to his eternal joy, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue over on page 6. O Lord, open thou our lips. And our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise you the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. And the canticle to this morning is the Venite on page 6. We'll read it together. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with songs. 
For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In His hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is His also. The sea is His, and He made it, and His hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For He is the Lord our God, and we are the people of His pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, O oh, that ye would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with that generation, and said, It is the people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways unto whom I swear in my wrath, that they should not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We move to our readings. The epistle is written in the 8th chapter of Paul's letter to the Romans, beginning at the 18th verse. I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed unto us. For the earnest expectation of the whole creation is waiting for the revelation of the sons of God. For the creation was not made subject to vanity of its own will, but in accordance with the will of him who made it subject in hope. For the creation itself shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. And not only so, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, groan within ourselves, waiting for our full adoption as sons, even the redemption of our body. Bearing with the epistle. The appointed psalm is Psalm 27. We'll do it by the full verse. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom then shall I be afraid? When the wicked came upon me to eat up my flesh, even mine enemies and my foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an host of men were laid against me, yet shall not my heart be afraid. And though there rose up war against me, yet will I put my trust in him. One thing have I desired of the Lord, which I will require, even that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the fair beauty of the Lord, and to visit his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his tabernacle. Yea, in the secret place of his dwelling place shall he hide me, and set me up upon a rock of stone. And now shall my head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his dwelling place an oblation with great gladness. I will sing and speak praises unto the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke the sixth chapter, beginning with the 36th verse. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Jesus said unto his disciples, Be ye therefore merciful, as your Father also is merciful. Judge not, and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together, and running over, shall men give unto your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. And he spake a parable unto them. Can the blind lead the blind? Shall they not both fall into the ditch? The disciple is not above his master, but everyone that is perfect shall be as his master. Now why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but perceiveth not the beam that is in thine own eye? Either how canst thou say to thy brother, 
Brother, let me pull out the mote that is in thine eye, when thou thyself beholdest not the beam that is in thine own eye. Thou hypocrite, cast out first the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to pull out the mote that is in thy brother's eye. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise be to thee, O Christ. We affirm the faith we share in the words of the Apostles' Creed on page 10. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen. And mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. And do thy ministers with righteousness. And make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people. And bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And evermore mightily defend us. O God, may clean our hearts within us. And take not the Holy Spirit from us. We move to our time of prayer. Let us pray. We pray the calling for the fourth Sunday after Trinity, page 223. O God, the protector of all that trust in thee, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy, Increase and multiply upon us thy mercy, that thou being our ruler and guide, we may so pass through things temporal, that we finally lose not the things eternal. Grant this, O Heavenly Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our Lord. Amen. Second Colleague for Peace. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, Defend us, thy humble servants, in all the assaults of our enemies, that we surely trust in, in thy defense. May not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance to do always that is righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, the fountain of all goodness, we only beseech thee to bless our sovereign lady, Queen Elizabeth, the parliaments of the Commonwealth, and all who are set in authority under her, remembering just in our Prime Minister, that all may order all things in wisdom, righteousness, and peace to the honor of thy holy name, and the good of the church and people, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In our intercessions this week, we pray for the parish of Labrador West, and the rector, the Reverend Robert McLean, with the congregation at St. Paul's in Labrador City. And we pray for the parish of Lake Melville, the rector, the Reverend Nellie Thomas, with congregations at Happy Valley and Northwest River. In our Anglican communion, communion, we pray for the Church of Pakistan. In our Diocese of Central Newfoundland, we pray for the Reverend Keith Demon, our priest, 
the Right Reverend John Martin Bishop, and the Venerable Terry Keynes, Executive Archdeacon. Prayer for clergy and people. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops and clergy, and all congregations committed to their charge, the awful spirit of thy grace, and that they may truly please thee, pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. A prayer for all conditions. O God, the creator and preserver of all mankind, we only beseech thee for all sorts and conditions, that thou wouldest be pleased to make thy ways known <coughs> unto them, thy saving health unto all nations. <clears throat> More especially we pray for the good estate of the Catholic Church, that it may be so guided and governed <clears throat> by thy spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth, and all the faith in unity of spirit, in the bond of peace, and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to thy fatherly goodness all those who are in any ways afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or state. Remembering today, Janice, Ralph, Mildred, Ava, Courtney, Clark, Marilyn, Day, Dale, Lee, Florence, Randy, Will, Lynn, Allison, Louise, Tony, Carol Ann, and Riley. That it may please thee to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their sufferings and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ is sake. Amen. Amen. A prayer for travelers on page 54. <clears throat> Number 39. We pray this together. O, o God, God, our, our Heavenly Father, Father, who art present in thy power in every place, preserve, we beseech thee, all who travel by land, water, or air. Surround them with thy loving care. Protect them from every danger and bring them in safety to their journey's end. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A prayer for the advancement of medical science, number 9, page 61. Together. O God, whose Spirit filleth all the world, revealing the wonders of nature through each succeeding day, we thank Thee for the continual advance in medical science, whereby the bodies are made apt for Thy service, beseeching Thee that those who minister to Thee in nature may be consecrated to Thee by grace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And a prayer over the gifts, page 74. <clears throat> Blessed be Thou, Lord God of Israel, forever and ever. All that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine. All things come of thee, and of thine own have we given thee. Amen. We pray the general thanksgiving on page 14. Almighty Mighty God, Father of all mercies, we thine unworthy servants do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all people. We bless Thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for Thy inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech Thee, give us that due sense of all Thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfailingly thankful and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time, with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and does promise that when two or three are gathered together 
in thy name they will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you to all of those who joined us today, whether you're watching on Sunday morning or later in the week. It's a wonderful thing to know that there are so many gathering with us in prayer through this time. And hopefully we're coming up on the end of the, uh, the time when we have to stay away and stay apart from one another. And it will be wonderful when we get past this as much as we can. So thank you for being part of our congregation through this last year and so in a bit. We close with the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you very much and stay safe.